Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I got you covered. Now, follow me on social media as well at Boxing Ego. First of all, I want to say happy birthday to Kel Brook. Great fight, May 27th. He's taking on a tough challenge. The Truth, Errol Spence Jr. I want to wish him a happy birthday. Make sure you go out to his pages and, and wish him a happy birthday. He's training for his big fight. And shout out to this. This is Kel Brook's cape right here. <laughs> now, you guys seen the title of the video. Clicked on it. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., May 6th. This weekend, it's fight week. And... The dude has been training, man. It looks like he's, for once, taking his career as serious as the fans hoped he would. He looks, like you guys see in the title, to me, he looks younger. And that's what weight loss will do to you. Some people say he looks weight drained. Other people say this is natural. I actually thought he would look worse, to be honest. I mean, obviously, I haven't seen him shirtless on the scale. He's still wearing like baggy clothes and you know what I mean, some 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 sweatsuits and jackets and stuff. So he probably still has a little bit to come off, but he doesn't look too bad. This is him next to Badu Jack. I'm, I'm assuming this was maybe in Vegas uh, at the track or whatnot. He fights in Vegas and he doesn't look like he's in bad shape. We know Badu Jack is a big super middleweight and these two are actually supposed to fight and it fell apart Chavez Jr. got injured or something and they both I believe are working with Angel Mimo Heredia and may, I don't know the extent of it I don't know if they were working out together or they just seen each other and, and snapped this picture but Badu Jack is a guy who has left super middleweight he hasn't actually fought at light heavyweight yet but he says Floyd Mayweather has something in store for him and he should be getting a title shot which would be cool because I thought he lost. I thought he won. Excuse me. Thought he won his last fight with James DeGale. Competitive, fun. It was kind of a fight where fight of halves. But I, I thought he pulled it out, especially how bad he hurt DeGale in the end. And he just started. He's a worker. You know what I mean? But back to Chavez Jr. You look at him next to him. And this is a big dude. Badu Jack's moving up to light heavyweight, and they look about equal in size. And like I said, Chavez, he looks younger to me. You see the old pictures of him where he ballooned up. I mean, look at him next to Jesse Vargas. Look at his face. So some people are worried. They say he looks too small. I don't think he looks bad. He's next to Jorge Arce. He looks younger to me, which is a sign that he, he's lost the weight. This was him at the Grand Arrivals. This should be a good fight, man. I, I finally watched the face off. I did my review on it. Make sure you guys check it out. I think, I really think Chavez Jr. will be able to rehydrate pretty good i think him and his team have guided him to this weight and they have plenty of time to prepare like this fight if the fight wasn't announced as early as it was this fight got announced a long time ago i don't remember the exact date but it has been a minute since it got announced the negotiations were one thing but even when it initially announced the negotiations were kind of in the public eye and it was some time ago now, when the, even since the fight has been announced, it's been a while. I don't know the exact date. So I think Chavez has had plenty of time. And for whatever reason, he's taking it serious. You see these pictures of him on his page. His brother just beat Canelo's brother, Raymond. And I'm looking forward to this fight, man. I don't think Canelo can fall asleep behind the wheel. Here's Chavez Jr. at his media day.
I don't know, man. Chavez looked kind of focused. I never even seen him on the speed bag. I don't even know if he's done all this stuff. But the dude look he looks he looks like he means business. Now, if he has the skill to actually pull it off and and do something with Canelo, that remains to be seen. But the weight doesn't look like that's his big issue. Now it's gonna just kind of boil down to game plan and if he has the right strategy and if he has the skill or the size to to beat a guy like Canelo. But I really feel this. I think Canelo can't afford to gas out or take spots off. You know what I mean? I really feel like Chavez Jr. is trying to summon all the Guerreros, the, the Mexican warriors like his dad. He's trying to really summon something. Like I said, it remains to be seen what that e equals or equates to, but it looks like he's really focused. And I, I could tell the weight. He got the weight down. It, it, I really, I'm pretty good with the eye test, and it looks like he's near where he needs to be. And he doesn't look, to me, he doesn't look that crazy. I thought he was gonna look crazy, crazy. This is him at the press tour, so you can see his face look fuller and stuff like that. I really, honestly, to be honest, I really thought he was gonna look crazier. I thought he was gonna look like sucked up and all types of bad, but he doesn't really look bad. And like I said, Canelo's a hell of a fighter. This weight looks comfortable on Canelo too. Look at him. He doesn't even look like I don't even know how he's making 54 for the Liam Smith fight and stuff like that because he looks at home at this weight. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is 10 and a half pounds. So I don't know what he was doing, but he looks perfectly fine. He looks lean. He looks healthy at this weight. This should be an entertaining fight. Like I said, I watched the face off. There's some bad blood there, and. This is deeper than a lot of people think in terms of it's not just a fight. Canelo already announced and made it public and official that he's not fighting for the, the honorary commemorative WBC with your old belt. I made a video about it. Make sure you guys check that video out and it's about to go down. The two don't like each other. They got the venue. Canelo's in shape. I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't even know who I'm picking in this fight because I, I really could see some different variables in this. But mark my words, Canelo, he's a great fighter, boxer, puncher. He cannot get tired. He cannot let. Another thing is, he doesn't want to pull an Anthony Joshua. And the reason I say that is because he just had a fight with jo Joshua Klitschko. And Joshua hurt his opponent and got overly excited which is easy to do when there's this type of bad blood when you hate him and you did the face off and this is for all the bragging rights but getting someone hurt and finishing them are two different things uh marquez Juan manuel marquez was hurt versus pacquiao but he ended up finishing pacquiao before pacquiao could finish him so you got to be careful like I, I really i know canelo is smart but i really think this little gym for Canelo, he's gonna have to fight smart and not fight off of just pure heart and instinct and the machista. And he doesn't want to do that because you're you're still in there with somebody bigger. And in the face-off, Chavez kind of he was letting Canelo dictate, but I, I could tell he was still getting under Canelo's skin. He was saying like you fought smaller guys that's why nobody respects you and it's not just it's not even my opinion this is the opinion of the public and I, I could tell Canelo doesn't like that Canelo doesn't like that he's like man I fought the best I fought Floyd Mayweather I fought Edison Lada I fought Angulo I fought all these guys I thought I would be celebrated but now he's starting to see a little bit and and I don't think it's the same reasons I don't think it's for the same reason I think race has a lot to do with Floyd Mayweather particularly why people hate him that's one of the reasons other people hate the villain stuff but also racism and race has a part in it so i think canelo he's starting to actually feel some of that that biggest star in boxing heat you know what i mean anybody who's at the top your people are coming for your head they're coming for the throne and that's just the way it goes and the way he handled the golovkin situation and how that situation made him look bad and then fighting guys like liam smith no one knew um Amir Khan, who people didn't give a chance, that there wasn't really a good stretch. 2016 wasn't really his best year in terms of the public eye. There was some damage control needed there. 
And I think Canelo resents that. Like, man, I fought the best. I fought the pound for pound number one. I fought and challenged Lada when he jumped on stage, stuff like that. And I think he thought the reception would be better. So he has to fight smart. You can't go in there with all that venom and angry and trying to prove a point to the point where it takes you out of your game plan. I really believe that. Can Canelo, he, he's solid at, the, he looks like he's solid at the weight, but we still don't know. And it, it's, I'm telling you guys, it's different fighting somebody who's naturally bigger. That's why you, you notice, and I'm not saying that I know everything because I clearly don't. I learn stuff in boxing all the time, but you notice I'm not really too high up on all these weight class jumps, right? For Canelo, I'm not, I wasn't really opposed to it in this fight because I think he was killing himself to make 54, but you still have to keep in mind that who you're fighting, you still have to fight smart. That's why Tony Bellew versus Deontay Wilder, of course I'll watch it. I'll watch any heavyweight fight with two names, but at the same time, I don't think it's wise for Tony Bellew. Yes, he can box. Yes, he's, he's a good fighter, but size does matter weight matters those things matter Deontay Wilder you could say all the deficiencies to your face turns blue windmill wilder and wild wilder all this stuff but one thing you can't deny is the dude is bigger than you and he has cracks he can hurt you you know what I mean and sometimes that can overcompensate you could be a better boxer but if somebody's naturally bigger and they're standing up to your best punches it's a different ball game, and I think Conor McGregor knows that all too well because he fought Nate Diaz twice. Nate Diaz is no punk. Shout out to Stockton, 209, Stockton slap, home of the Stockton slap. And he didn't just vaporize when he got hit with a hard shot, when he was bleeding, when the going got tough. Like, Jose Aldo looked kind of scared and timid when he fought Conor McGregor, and he got blasted out of there in 13 seconds, couldn't recover. That's a featherweight. We're not talking about a lightweight. We're not talking about someone who's six feet, six one, or whatever Nate Diaz is, and somebody who's tough from the rough streets and comes from a fight family, him and his brother. Them, them dudes is tough, right? And I think for all of Chavez's lack of discipline and everything that he showed thus far in his career, you have to respect him as a man, and he sounds like he got up for this particular fight. He looks like he got up for this particular fight, so you don't want to disrespect him and just think, oh, um, clearly Canelo's, I mean, there's no doubt about it, Canelo is the, the more skillful fighter who's been more consistent in his career, but I'm telling you guys, size, size matters, weight matters, so I hope Canelo is as smart as we all think he is and he fights the smart fight and and pick his shots and stuff don't don't fight off emotion that's i've seen it too often where it's not the greatest look and that could make the fight more difficult like tim bradley versus Ruslan. i think bradley given what he can do his athleticism he could have easily outboxed Ruslan Provotnikov. We've seen Chris Algieri do it, and I think Bradley probably has a bit more snap on his punches. He hurt Pacquiao in his last fight. He seemed to kind of be bothering Jesse Vargas, so I think he's he's a sharper puncher, even though he's not the biggest puncher. He stopped Brandon Rios. I think he's a sharper puncher than like a Chris Algieri, right? And he made that fight way more difficult versus Ruslan Provotnikov than it needed to be. So we'll see what Canelo brings to the table. And that's why I'm looking forward to this because neither guy could get tired. I mean, same thing for Chavez. He can't get tired because Canelo's a good finisher. We've seen James Kirkland getting mopped up. They even made a ghost video and somehow edited Canelo out. And it looked like James Kirkland was flying around the damn ring. But Canelo's sharp. telling you if Canelo go in there and destroy Chavez Jr. and made it look easy the dude is really special like he's because I, I don't see this being an easy fight I think this could be like a Joshua Klitschko for this particular weight 164.5 I really think that unless the only only reason that it's so intriguing to me that it might not be like that is if even though Chavez to me doesn't look like he's a zombie at the, yet you know I me mean? i don't even know where his weight's at i know what the public said last week and stuff but i don't know the actual number i haven't seen him step on the scale so that's a, an important factor to me to see if he looks sucked up come time for the weigh-in 
But if he if he rehydrates right and he, he follows his game plan that he's been working on, I see this being a Joshua Klitschko type of entertaining fight where it could be in the trenches, some good back and forth action, and somebody's going to have to figure it out. And although I think Canelo has, at his young age, he's he's gotten better to me. He's only 26. He's not invincible. None of these fighters, Golovkin, none of these guys are invincible. Canelo was hurt by Jose Miguel Cotto. So if he can hurt you, then Chavez Jr. at a higher weight, moving up 10 and a half pounds, clearly can hurt you. He hurt Sergio Maravilla, who was dominating him, and still somehow, some way, summon up enough power with weed in his system to hurt Madavia badly and almost nearly get him out of there. So Canelo has to fight smart. I'm looking forward to this. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off.